What's up superstars? Welcome back to my series where I create a piece of art to get it autographed by a sports star or celebrity. I'm taking you back to Tribe Fest where I got to meet Indians all-star first baseman Carlos Santana. But first I have to make the art, so let's go to Photoshop land. I think the question I get asked most is how long do these take to make? These Photoshop pieces usually take between 3 and 5 hours. I've done enough of them that I can get a nice streamlined workflow going. But I remember the very first one of these I did took at least 20 hours. There was a lot of experimenting going into that one, but I fell in love with the style and I uh, haven't looked back. But back to the task at hand. In 2008, the Indians traded Casey Blake to the Dodgers for a minor league defensively challenged catcher who was also a 70s rock god, Carlos Santana. It's hard to believe, for me anyway, that he's been with the Tribe for the better part of 10 years now. In 2010, he made his major league debut, and a month later, he was demolished in a collision at the plate. I remember that one being very hard to watch. It was gross. Anyway, catching really wasn't in the cards for Carlos, so he ended up at third base in 2014 after the Indians acquired John Gomes, who was much better behind the dish. That went, um, well by the end of the year he was primarily a first baseman. I remember a buddy asking me how I thought he looked at first base, and I told him I thought he looked like our future designated hitter. Santana kept getting on base and hitting a decent amount of home runs. Dude walks a lot. He eats, sleeps, and dreams about walks. His nickname is Slamtana, but only because it sounds better than Walktana. And through it all, he's won me over because of his willingness to play anywhere. He's a team first kind of guy, and he's developed into a pretty good first baseman actually, so he's really worked hard at getting better. Oh, and he left for Philadelphia in free agency in 2018, but he came back home after a three-team trade last season, and he celebrated by making his first all-star team. Turns out cheesesteaks are okay, but Polish boys are where it's at. Here's Carlos. I asked him to sign in blue, but he wasn't really paying attention. And then I asked him if he wanted a copy, and he politely declined. These things happen. This is still a treasured part of my collection because Carlos is a treasure. Aw. He's on my team, and he's one of my guys. He's not a superstar, but you know what? He is a superstar. And you're a superstar. Root for whoever you want to root for. Don't apologize for it. Just enjoy this beautiful game of baseball, or whatever sport you like. It's all good. I thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, yada yada yada, and we'll see you next time. Adios muchachos.